Stay out here. Praise the Lord for a beautiful day. So number one, I'm thankful for this beautiful day. I am so thankful for this beautiful day that God has given us. And what God has been showing me, um, I'm in a season of waiting, as I'm sure many other people might be. That seems to be a, uh, a theme God uses to test us and prove us and try us and to see see you know how strong our faith is and see if we're gonna doubt or falter or uh, you know start distrusting in him or or it's a when we're in a season of waiting it's it's a good test to see where we're at are we strong in faith or are we going to falter and God has been showing me and revealing to me during this season of waiting that I'm in that sometimes we can have expectations. I, for myself, I set expectations of how I think, notice I, how I think certain things should look. And it sets an expectation for myself when if those expectations aren't being met, if those expectations don't play out in that way, then it leads to discontentment. It leads to doubts. It leads to, you can be upset. You could be awed. This didn't turn out this way, so now I'm, you know, kind of discouraged or just you become discontent. And that's something that God has been showing me that don't set expectations. Leave, leave it at God's feet. Pray about it. But ultimately, say not my will, but your will be done. Because it's not about us. We... We want to see certain things, you know, come to pass in a specific way with our expectations, but God doesn't see as we see. His lens is so far up high above and beyond our lens. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our ways. How he sees things, he sees the past, the present, and the future, and we cannot. And so when we look at things with this small lens and perspective, we become discontent. But in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 8, well, starting actually 7 and 8, uh, Paul says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Okay, God promises to provide for our needs. He says, if we have food, food to eat, if we have raiment, I'm wearing a jacket, shoe, I have shoes, pants, I have clothing on. That's the will of God is to be content where you are. There's, you can pray about the future. You can pray about where, God, what, where God's trying to bring you, where he's trying to lead you. And that's good, and we should pray for that. But there's, don't become discontent in the situation, in the place that God has you right now. It could be a waiting season like I'm in, and God's trying to teach me, and he's convicting me, bringing conviction upon my heart that, saying, Austin, you have to trust in me. Okay, you're, se you're setting expectations that are false expectations. You can't do that. My lens is not as you see. And so that's God's trying to show me, and I just wanted to make this video as an encouragement to you, how important it really is Remember, God's time, God's timeline is the best timeline, but sometimes it doesn't match with our expectations. So take note of that and be aware of that. That's, just be aware of that as you're in this season of waiting, whether you're waiting to move somewhere, whether you're waiting in it for a job, whether you're waiting for something to happen in the future, whether you're waiting for something else, whatever it may be. Don't get discontent with where God had you because there's a specific reason why you're there and there's a specific reason. There's something he's trying to show you and maybe you haven't, he hasn't revealed that to you. But just remember, say, let us, let our, let our speech not be, oh, how come this? How come that didn't work out? How come this? Let it be not my will be done, but thy will be done. And so I just want to encourage you with that. 
that uh, even, or I'll go to the book of Isaiah quickly, what I said earlier, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9, God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, my, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So he sees all things. He sees what you're going through. He sees if you're in a season of waiting. Keep praying. Keep praying. He's trying to test you and to try your faith. Yes, one thing, but don't set expectations that are false. I hope that encouraged you because I know I certainly need to hear that. But I'm thankful for this beautiful day. And uh, I'm just on my lunch break right now and has led to make this video. So I am going to leave it there and continue on my walk. Enjoy the rest of your day.